but my best friend. <laughs> Why would you ever do that to me? <laughs> you shine every day to night. It's midnight. Hi guys, it's Nai here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an update on my meeting my internet best friend turning into a disaster video. So guys, in the comments down below, I saw so many comments and people commenting down why didn't I meet Olivia and where's Olivia? And guys, if you don't know who Olivia is, Please check my first video so you know all about her and how we break up and stuff. And guys, I don't really want to repeat the whole thing because it's really sad. I'll tell you what has happened to Olivia. So basically, I'm starting to feel really sad about it. And in the comment down below, comment down below, I mean, people were commenting that they've lost their best friend and they've like sometimes one of their best friends go to a different country they feel really sad i really feel sad for those people as well so guys i really feel sad right now but i'm going to answer you guys this questions um some of your um comment down below were really sweet i really enjoyed it um and some other people said they can't even meet their ibf and just feel really sorry for them. I'm so sorry, guys. I know how it feels, guys. It feels really bad. My heart broke. And some of you comment down below that you are going to meet your IBF and you've planned to meet IBF. And I am so happy for you. I hope it goes really well, guys. Some people were leaving bad comments and saying that I was lying about Olivia. Guys, it really happened and that was hurtful to see like really hurtful that i was actually lying about olivia but i wasn't guys it was really true guys i really loved olivia she was like everything to me when i met her on my old tiktok account she was so sweet and she was so kind to me and guys we became ibfs because i was having a bad time at school i can't even stop me and Olivia was super duper sweet to me. Just love her so much. I feel like she's my sister or something. After school, we always was on FaceTime, and like her mom knew about me, and my mom knew about her. That's how we became internet best friends. I keep on crying. I don't know why. Guys, some people were saying that the internet best friend video was fake because I said goodnight to Olivia at 6 o'clock. 7.30, I'm supposed to be reading my book and I go to bed about at 8 o'clock. So that's why I just told her goodnight because my mum told me to go and read my book. And guys, Olivia lives in Germany, so it's one hour difference. We normally see at the same time and we normally read our books at the same time. And that's why I had to say goodnight to her. So guys, People are asking me why I didn't put her picture up, like a picture of her up. Well, it's because um, I don't want anybody to be writing any hating comments or something. And I don't think that she wants to go on YouTube. I'm going to tell you what happened in Germany. So guys, when I was in Germany, I was calling her, but she didn't answer the phone. And then after her, she told me and she texted me that her mum wasn't going to come and bring her there to meet me. I was like... So sad because her mum, she said that. She texted me back and she said this. Her mum is not going to bring her over to me. And I was really sad. And so I just gave my phone to my mum. Why would you ever do that to me? And so guys, um... Her mum wouldn't answer the phone while my mum was calling her. She won't even text me. She won't even bring a liver to my hotel or anything. And my mum got really mad because she was the one who brought the tickets. She was the one who bought. She was the one who paid for the hotels and everything. And like, she, um, 
Alicia's mum was moving on to me. me. She tried to make me feel better by getting me ice cream, but I couldn't even eat one single scoop because I was so tired I was crying. Okay. So the next day, um, I was on my phone. I was trying to text Olivia. She had blocked my number and my mum's number because every time I sent her a message, it was it wouldn't go through all this. See, my mum and me know that she was she blocked me because when we went down to reception area, we asked the workers if we can text Olivia and her mum, and it actually went through, guys. So we know that she was blocking us. My mum and me just just started stopped contacting Olivia's mum and herself, and um, we just went around like Germany and stuff. And after the IBF video, um, I got a text from someone, a random number or something, but I don't know because it didn't say the name. But I, it had a heart on it, and I was really hoping it was Olivia. I wish I never ever asked her that we could meet, because maybe we could have faced them, each other and talked to each other. But now it's all gone, guys. So what can I do? Guys, I really miss Olivia. I'm not mad at her, guys, but I just miss her a lot. I wish I could talk to her, because she was, like, really special to me. And, guys, um, like, I hope I answered all of your questions. And guys, if you have an IBM, don't forget to tell your parents so they know who they are. Keep safe because you never know who's on the internet. So guys, um, that's it. I'm not going to talk about this again. This is, I just wanted to answer some of your questions. I just want to move on from this and just be more positive. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? It's free here to now, now, now. See you in the next video. Bye.